So have you ever been interested in knowing exactly how much a doctor makes? Well, in this video, we're going to break down how much a doctor makes on average, who makes the most, who makes the least. And on top of that, we'll break down exactly how much a doctor makes per average. And I will also give you my salary. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome to the MD Journey, a channel completely dedicated to help students succeed on their journey with less stress. My name is Lux. I'm an internal medicine physician and resident in training. I've been making videos just like this, and we put out two videos per week. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button and join the community. But today we are talking about money, and specifically we are talking about how much physicians make, who makes the most, who makes the least. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'm going to break down exactly how much a doctor makes per hour and I'll also give you my salary so stay tuned. So the average salary of a physician is going to depend on a lot of different factors including what you do and where you do it but if you take the average based off of the Medscape compensation report this is basically physicians indicating how much they make in 2019 the average comes out to about three hundred and thirteen thousand dollars now the number itself has a lot of variability in fact if you split it based off of individuals who are primary care physicians or pcps and you compare it to individuals who are specialist people like your cardiologists your surgeons individuals who may do a lot of procedures then it can be a huge discrepancy in fact, if you compare the average salary for a PCP, it's about $237,000 in 2019 compared to a special agent that can go as high as about $341,000 on the average. So there's a huge discrepancy. But let's take it one more step further. How much does each specialty in medicine make? Who makes the most and who makes the least? And again, if you look at the same Medscape compensation, you find that usually the top individuals who are making the most money are in very procedural based specialties. These are individuals that have to do very specific training, work with their hands, do a lot of things such as surgeries, operations, placing stents. In fact, if we look at the top of the totem pole, we will find that the highest earning physicians are in specialties such as orthopedics, plastic surgery, ENT, cardiology, and dermatology. So physicians who are in specialties such as orthopedic surgery can make a salary as high as an average of $482,000 a year. And the reason for such a big discrepancy between the different specialties and their salaries has to do with a few things. One of those things is simply the amount of training and how specialized you are. So for example, an individual in orthopedic surgery or neurosurgery is going to require a lot more years of training and they're also in very invasive Field. These are individuals that are doing operations and procedures on a daily basis. Those also tend to bring in more revenue for both the hospitals as well as the physician. And the last thing to point out is there can be a lot of inter-specialty variability. So for example, if you look at a specialty like cardiology where the average is $430,000, there's a huge range and that's primarily run by the fact that there's individuals who do procedures that are more invasive. For example, if you have a heart attack or if you have a blockages, any of your major coronary or heart vessels, you may have to have a stent place. That is a very invasive procedure compared to a cardiologist who you may see in the clinic or be evaluated in the hospital. So there can be a lot of variability even between two cardiologists. And so you can have two cardiologists and see a huge variability in their salaries. And one of the primary reasons may be that one of them does procedures while the other one may not. So now that we know what an average salary of a physician is, I also wanted to show you how the salary can depend based off of where you live. So what I'm showing you here is a salary map for a specific specialty throughout the various parts of the country of the United States. Now this is a salary map that's done through doximity.com, which is an organization and website made specifically for physicians and healthcare providers. But through the process, physicians throughout the country and on doximity.com can also report their income as well as the region of the country that they're living in. So you as a potential candidate or somebody who may be trying to move could see how much you potentially would be making or not making uh, depending on your geographic preferences. So for example, let's go back to our example about cardiology. And you can see that if you choose to live in some locations that are a little bit more popular, such as the West Coast, if you choose to live in the city of San Francisco, for example, you'd be making about a little north of 400 and uh, $2,000, which is obviously a very great salary. You could also make you know, much more if you choose to be in the Midwest or areas that are much more rural. So here you're at 423,000. Um, and I'm sure if you play around with it, you may be able to get even higher numbers. And we can do the same thing with a more procedural heavy specialty like orthopedic surgery, where somewhere as popular as maybe Austin, Texas, you may be making $482,000, which is about the average that we saw earlier. Um, in other places, you may be making you know, in the $500,000 range. And so it just, again, depends on the demand, um, how rural or how busy 
um, of an urban center you may be going into where competition may be more. So there's a lot that goes into the potential salary a position could make. Um, but this is a nice way to give you an average of specifically based off of where in the country you choose to live. But as you can easily see, there's a lot that goes into figuring out how much a doctor makes. You know, we've already talked about a few of them. You know, what specialty you're in, specifically if you're doing procedures within the specialty, as well as your geographic preference. But there's also a lot of other things that can play a role in your final salary. A few things to consider are things like how many hours you work. For example, there may be physicians who choose to go full-time or part-time. In addition, there may be physicians who choose to do multiple different roles using the medical expertise. For example, you may have a doctor who works in a clinic from Monday to Friday, and then on Saturday and Sunday, they may work for a different facility, which may be an additional salary. Or perhaps they're working as a telemedicine physician where they contact patients through video calls and video conferences or phone calls, and that is a different form a revenue that they could also make. Now, in addition to hours, you also have to remember that the way you make money is you have to bill for it, meaning you have to understand these very complicated coding systems that is involved in the United States medical system. And while billing and coding is very complicated in itself, you may have two physicians, one physician who knows how to properly code and enter everything that they've done for a specific patient and a latter physician who may be a little bit inexperienced. And while they may provide the same level of care, the first physician may get a higher pay per that specific patient and care that they provide. Before I tell you guys both my salary as well as how much a doctor makes per hour, the answer may surprise you. Quick reminder that if you're enjoying the video and the content and information, go ahead and hit that like button and support this video on YouTube. Now let's get into the final part of this video, which you may have been waiting for, which is how much does a doctor make per hour? And the answer may surprise you. Now to explain this answer, I want to show you this very effective infographic, which I'll link down below so you guys can refer back to it. But the first thing we need to do is understand how long it takes to become a physician in the first place. Now our salaries may seem like a dream or they're extremely high, but it's also important to understand when we in fact get our first paycheck uh, as adults and as physicians. And so the infographic first takes into account how long it takes to become a physician. As a quick review, it's four years of college, four years of medical school, followed by anywhere from three to seven years of residency depending on the specialty you go into and then after residency you can either choose to go into the work field and make a full-time doctor salary or if you want to be even more specialized then there are even further trainings called fellowships so it can really depend but here they've estimated that an average doctor spends about 41,000 hours of their life trying to become a doctor in the form of training. And then we fast forward to understand exactly when a doctor will earn their first full real doctor paycheck. It won't be anywhere until maybe 29, 30, or upwards to 32 years old. Now, in addition to accounting for the time, it's also important to account for the money that we spend to train and become doctors in the first place, um, because unfortunately it's not cheap. Uh, if you count your undergrad debt, which some of us and some of us may not have, med school debt, which most of us do, and then the interest that accrues while we're trying to pay it off as well as when we're in training, that number can go anywhere from 600,000 um, or even higher um, after 20 years. And for some people, you know, I understand this number is a little skewed and maybe lower, if, especially if you don't have $100,000 of undergrad debt, which I hope you don't. But finally, we get to our breakdown. Now, for this example, they do use a cheesy example of comparing it to the salary of a teacher, which I don't know if it's called for, uh, but basically they compare the $200,000 salary over lifetime, which I think is about $5 million for the physician and $2 million for the teacher. Again, not my infographic, so comment down below if you disagree. But when you account for the salaries that we make in residency, which is less than a doctor's salary, um, and then you account for the hours as well as debt, they're coming down to final answer, ding, 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 about $33 per hour. When you compare that to the teacher salary that they're showing, they're showing it's about $33 as well. But with the teacher example aside, even if you consider somebody who goes into the workforce after finishing college at the age of 22 or 23, or even 25, making the average of $50,000, you can see that there's a lot of time lost for income non-generated for somebody being in training or in school of some sort. And I also understand on the flip side that once a physician starts to actually make their doctor's salary, that they're able to play catch up pretty quickly as long as they're financially responsible. But to end the video off, as promised, I also want to share with you my specific numbers. And I talk about them a little bit more in detail here. Um, but as a quick reminder, I am an internal medicine resident, which means I'm still finishing up that last bit of training, at least for now. Um, and I actually started to make my first paycheck ever in my life, uh, an actual job paycheck last 
June to July. Um, and that was the first kind of real paycheck I've ever seen in my life. You've had smaller jobs throughout, um, but this was the first one that was associated with 401k and the health insurance plan, all, all that fun stuff. And so currently as an internal medicine resident, my salary is about 58 to 59 thousand dollars before tax if you want to learn more about how that money breaks down or how i'm spending it per month um, i'll link it down below in addition if you're interested in learning how many uh, dollars in debt i am because of medical school i will also link down both of those videos um, in the description but that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you guys got a lot of value from it hopefully i answered some of your questions if i didn't go ahead and drop it down in the comment section and if you're still watching the video till the end then i encourage you to go ahead and hit that like button and support this video um, on youtube if that's where you're watching um, and definitely consider subscribing to get more videos like this we're dropping two of them on a weekly basis just for you but thank you guys so much for being a part of my journey hopefully i've been a little help to you on yours i'll see you guys in the next one